Question of the day is, I do not like approaching. How can I meet people and possibly start dating them if I can't approach at all? So ideally, I do think you should work on it. It helps in a lot of situations where, you know, perhaps it's unconventional or it's tough to do, but there's your dream girl or dream guy and having that skill set, that those tools to approach can be very valuable. Um, but if you don't want to do that, if you really don't want to cultivate it, which I, I again, don't recommend because, again, uh, this is something that can be cultivated. Humans are very plastic. For me, it took a lot to get there because of uh, the severe lack and, and pain without women. So if you don't have that drive or hunger, perhaps you can't get there. Again, it depends on the individual. Sometimes you're just too far off on the introvert scale. I was pretty far off for me, but um, there you go. Anyhow, um, here's basically the answer in a nutshell. Go to venues, places, clubs, activities where it's not all based on social uh, approaches and stuff like that. So bars and clubs, again, by definition, it's kind of like that. The girls... Uh, traditionally always want the guys to approach first even if they're interested like girls are very shy and then they like to, you know just as humans generally speaking they naturally rely on the fact that oh it's traditional or i'm too shy um, and they can use that as a bit of a crutch because culturally it's, it's kind of how it works and therefore even if they really like you sometimes if you don't approach they'll move on and you know that can sting so Another way of doing it is going to a bunch of different things where it's just about being social, making friends, and so forth. And if you have activities in common, those, those sort of things, you just naturally start working together and talking and making friends. So there's a whole slew of these activities that I do think most people discount or, you know, it's not emphasized as much. Everyone's saying bars, clubs, approach them in the daytime. Here's, here's a list. Volunteering at anything animal shelter, homeless shelter. Two is uh, fitness activities, CrossFit, yoga, Pilates. Again, varies. Um, you know, uh, there's uh, business conferences, Comic-Con, geek conferences. There's uh, arts and crafts. There's um, cross, CrossFit, I, did, I said CrossFit. Hip-hop dance classes, salsa dance classes, any type of dance class, the list goes on. And so, again, all these sort of things can work together to potentially help you along the way. Then there's stuff like online dating, where it's maybe less of a blow if you're just messaging girls online. And, um, I mean, there's a whole slew of things. Again, if you've seen anything of my vlog series... Uh, depending on the area and what you're doing, it can be a bit of a crapshoot. Um, again, you can go to these things and there's like no one, like barely anyone there, barely anyone in your age range. So again, don't, you know, perhaps, perhaps geography and where you live plays a factor. In addition to that, though, there's also the fact that, hey, these people have friends. Maybe they have 10 friends or 100 friends. And perhaps one day if you actually just make friends with them rather than just leave because they're not you know attractive to you or whatever you can grow a social circle and they will introduce you to friends and that's how many people meet many many people still meet this way and therefore like even if you're not attracted to this person if they have 10 friends and they introduce you to them that is like it breaks a lot of the things that um, many guys have to overcome you skip through that whole process. Uh, they feel safer around you because they're not scared that you're a creep, a weirdo. Uh, they, they're not scared you're going to rape them. They, they know that you're cool because you're introduced to friends. Um, I can go on and on. But I guess you, you get the point already. Some of this is common sense, guys. Um, uh, so that's general training wheels for you. And start brainstorming. There's a lot of different activities that you can possibly do and work on. Um, that's it in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.
And let me know in the comments uh, any advice that you want to give other people that may be of use. Uh, imagine someone who's having trouble with this. What advice would you give them? Thanks. I'll see you in my next video.